Hey Lions! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for today, August 4th through August 14th. Also, happy birthday, Lions! I hope you guys are having a really, really great birthday season. Uh, I'll probably be doing the birthday uh, bonus reading for Leo sometime in the next week or so, so keep your eyes peeled for that. So guys, my allergies are bothering me. <coughs> as I'm sure you can tell. So just keep that in mind through the video. I might have to stop, take some water, cough, all that very sexy stuff. Um, also, I bit my tongue really bad last night. Took a good little chunk out of it. So if I'm talking funny, sorry. I apologize for that, okay? <coughs> also, anybody who's been with me for a while knows that I always do a pre-shuffle session after I talk about med my meditative session and then I get into the reading, I will no longer be doing the pre-shuffles. I know you guys like it. I liked it too. I really did. But I got to cut some time somewhere. My videos end up being long anyway. You guys know me. I'm like incapable of doing a short video. So don't worry. You're still going to get lots and lots of stuff. Okay? Lots of content. <clears throat> this is going to be a long video. <laughs> if I got to do a lot of that. Lions. Tapping into your energy was really interesting because I actually wasn't getting a whole lot. <laughs> and I think that's because uh, you guys are actually quite quiet right now. You're very quiet. I'm getting like major silent treatment coming off of some of you. Some of you are giving someone the cold shoulder, the silent treatment. Others, you're like, you're just ruminating. Like you're tired of just like, it's almost like you're tired of trying to get your point across yeah some of you are tired of trying to get your point across and you're just like i'm just not saying shit i'm just not gonna say shit your silence is deafening okay <laughs> there's a lot being said in everything you're not saying and it's and basically like i said you're not really saying anything whatsoever um it, it's actually quite shocking to whoever is on the receiving end of it um for some of you, it, it also is an energy of just like no communication where someone kind of expected you to start talking to them and then you just didn't. Um, yeah, it is also an energy like that for some of you. So it's a spectrum of energy. So for some, um, there is an expectation of you to communicate about something or to talk about something and you're just like, no, I'm not talking to you. I don't need to be talking to you. I don't need to be reaching out to you. Ball's not in my court. Ball's in your court. Ball's in your court. Some of you are having that kind of energy, that kind of situation where um, you, basically you're like, no, balls in your court to make a move, balls in your court to call me, text me, or do whatever. I've done a lot already, is what I'm getting with that for those in that situation. Um, and like I said, others, you're actually intentionally giving someone the silent treatment or the cold shoulder. <coughs> tired of explaining. Some of you are tired of explaining yourself and you're making your point by just not saying anything whatsoever. Oh, come back. Some of you actually live with someone that you're that you're doing this to, which is like, I've got to be honest, that's hard. <clears throat> that's really hard when you're living with someone and they're giving you the silent treatment, the, the cold shoulder. Um, <clears throat> I know. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. It's making me crazy. I've been drinking water like a camel. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Even as it's going down, it's not clearing my throat. I'm so sorry, lions. I don't want to be too distracted. Okay, so coming back to you. Also with the silent treatment or this, this energy of just quietness, quiet, not really talking, um, I'm getting another group of you lions where you are very quiet right now, almost very hermity, but it's for a reason. I do feel a little bit of a transformation energy going through you while you're doing this. Even for those that are giving a silent treatment or just intentionally just not saying something, intentionally not talking about a certain subject or talking about something that needs to be discussed, it's like you feel like your, your efforts are going to be wasted if you try to talk about it. <clears throat> While you're in this mode of silence, of quiet time, hermit mode, again, I, I reiterated a many different scenarios that I'm picking up on, so choose whatever applies to you. It's actually helping you to purge something by not talking. It's really interesting, actually. It's really interesting. Yeah, I'm just getting like, like a quiet little healing process, a quiet little healing process, transformation, letting go of some shit, healing from some shit. But you're being so quiet, Leo, and people around you are a little put off by this. <clears throat> yeah, people around you are a little put off by this. I think they're just worried because they know that's not how you normally are. But for those who are actually giving someone the silent treatment, I do feel like it's like a standoff, a little bit of a standoff <clears throat> prompted by an argument or some kind of um, aggravation. 
uh, some kind of aggravation. Again, this explaining, like for some of you, this aggravation is I'm tired of explaining myself. I'm tired of trying to explain this shit to you. I'm tired of trying to talk to you when you don't really hear me. You don't really care. And now that I'm not going to be speaking to you, now you're getting the message. It's like, sorry, and I came up really aggressive. It's a little aggressive, silent treatment, Leo. Um, like I said, a lot of different stuff I was picking up for you guys. Please hold on to whatever resonates with you, even if you got to start this video over, okay? All right, Lions, let's get into it. <clears throat> into it. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. <clears throat> I need water. <clears throat> you know, Leo, my throat actually hasn't been this bad all day. I am getting some throat chakra energy with this. You guys are quite literally not saying something intentionally, not talking or just being quiet. Like I said, some of you are being quiet due to a transformation. Also, those who are giving a silent treatment, it's actually that quiet time. <clears throat> that quiet time is making you realize some things about the people that you're giving this silent treatment to. Okay, maybe some things that you haven't really wanted to admit about the people that you're around or the person that you're with. Okay, <clears throat> Lord of mercy. Any messages for Leo regarding love from now until August 14th? Yeah, Leo, there's a lot of throat chakra energy going on here. Um, please be mindful of that during this time. Like, Clearly this silent treatment or this quiet time, some it's just quiet time, others you're intentionally giving a silent treatment to somebody. Um, this silence mode, we'll call it silence mode. The silence mode you're in, <clears throat> it is in your benefit, but just be mindful that it's not um, causing your throat chakra to be imbalanced. Wow, <clears throat> I still have to do Sag after this. Any messages for Leo? Oh, there we go. Any messages for Leo regarding love from now? until August 14th. Any messages for Leo regarding love from now until August 14th? <laughs> it's like, where did my voice go? <clears throat> Any messages for Leo regarding love from now until August 14th? I just saw a concert, actually. I just saw a concert. Maybe some... Oh. Oh, okay. This is a little download for somebody. Um, you have plans to go to a concert with someone. I think it is a romantic interest or a friend that you are romantically interested in. You're trying, you want to, you want to go to a concert with them. You want to, but you don't want to have the conversation. Like, what's that about, Leo? Why don't you want to talk about it? Oh, Leo. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. This is kind of cute. So Leo, you could be on the receiving end of this, or you could be wanting to do this. Like invite this person out to a concert, kind of like as a kind of kind of as a segue to be to kind of introduce the idea of maybe <clears throat> taking things from friends to more than friends um yeah it's oh it's kind of cute you're kind of nervous about having this conversation it's kind of like you're asking them out on a date but you're not really leo be mindful don't date trap your friend or if you're on the receiving of, end of this cross watcher don't date trap your friend leo don't do that. I've been in that situation a couple times. It's not fun. And what do I mean by date trap? Because some people, that's like, I don't think it's an actual term. It's a term that I just used for my own experiences with this, where you're friends with someone, you think you're friends with someone, and they ask you to go out with them somewhere, and you're thinking, oh yeah, we're going out as friends. And then all of a sudden you're there and they're acting like it's a date. That's not fun. Don't do that. Don't do that. Introduce the idea in this outing but don't go into it acting like it's a date. Don't do that. <clears throat> Any messages for Leo? Any messages for Leo regarding love from now until August 14th? <clears throat> Leo, you're killing me with the throat chakra. <laughs> Any messages for Leo? Wow. <laughs> Page of Swords in reverse. This is crazy. Page of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> Definitely not saying something, Leo. Definitely not saying something, not communicating. Careful with that. Well, again, Leo, it's energy. So this could be you or you could be on the receiving end of this. It could always be vice versa. But for the sake of the reading, I do feel like it's you, Leo, who's wanting to talk about something, wanting to invite this friend out to maybe get, you know, turn it into something more. But 
the more you're not saying, <clears throat> while it's getting your point across to those where you're giving the silent treatment to, but in situations where you're just going through stuff, it's, it's, it's coming off different. You know, like for those that are going through this transformative process, this hermity energy, and you're being very quiet with people, people think you're mad at them. People think you're pissed. People think you're going through stuff. It's just a little bit of an illusion, okay? That's what I'm getting with that. And again, Lions, I'm also getting that silent treatment here. I'm also getting that silent treatment for those giving that um, out to other people. Because you're tired of miscommunications. You're, you're tired of like talking, 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 and then someone just not hearing the truth in your words. Or someone just not giving a shit. You're tired of that. You're really tired of that for those lines that I was tapping into. See if I get anything. <clears throat> See if I get anything else off of this. Petty. I just heard petty. Petty. Um, Leos, some of you are dealing with someone who is very, very uh, petty in their behavior. And low blows, like little digs, and they think it's funny. I don't know what that's about. They'll say little things and they'll just laugh like it's a funny thing, but it's actually like a little dig at you. And it's very petty. It's very immature. And you don't want to deal with that anymore. You don't want to deal with that anymore. <clears throat> Some of you could have this behavior and this is going to be a behavior you're trying to change about yourself. I just bit my tongue again. Oh. Any other messages for Leo <clears throat> regarding love from now until August 14th? <laughs> in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> Any messages for Leo? That's too many. Any messages for Leo regarding love from now until August 14th? Let's see here. Six of Wands in reverse, Jupiter, Leo energy, and then Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Now I'm getting a missed opportunity here. Someone missed something. Someone missed something. Miscalculated something. Did It's this per... <clears throat> ah. <laughs> It's this person, Leo. Um, it's this person that's making you crazy because you're not you're not really feeling heard. You're not feeling like they give a shit. You're not feeling like they like they like they give a shit. They're realizing they missed out on something with you. You've already decided you're kind of done. But Leo, this is interesting. You're giving them the silent treatment. But you, it, in your head, you're like, I'm I'm done. I'm done. But why aren't you walking away yet? <clears throat> Maybe you're figuring out your next steps. You're not walking away yet, Leo. This is interesting. Be, be mindful of this energy where in your head you're already done, but you're just giving silent treatment instead of actually just walking away. Like what I mean by that is like if you're actually dating somebody with someone in a relationship, living with someone, you're still doing that. Like you're still in it technically, like there hasn't been a breakup, but you are done, but you're just giving the silent treatment. In your silence, they're realizing they're fucking up. That's what this is. In your silence, they're realizing they're missing an opportunity with you. They're losing you. <clears throat> they really drop the ball on their end. All this ball imagery. <laughs> Trying to see if I can get anything else off of this. Yeah, that's mostly what I'm getting. That's mostly what I'm getting, Leo. Interesting. Let's see what else we got. Some of you, sorry, I just got something else. Some of you are tired of missing out on opportunities. Some of you are tired of missing out on opportunities here, which is why you're you're in this transformative process. But again, it's coming off wrong. It's just coming off like people don't really understand what's what you're what you're going through. So Leo, just be mindful of that that maybe the people who you're close to in your life, for those Leo's going through a bit of a transformative silent mode um that just let them know hey i'm just going through some shit i'm just going through some shit i need to change some shit about myself i need to figure out why i do this why i do that and why i'm missing all these opportunities <clears throat> very reflective energy leo very reflective for those in that situation any other messages for leo regarding love from now until august 14th any other messages for leo regarding love from now until august 14th Three card reading, Leo. Okay. Overall energy, we have six of cups, scorpionic energy, which is also past life karmic soulmate energy. So definitely this is an ongoing issue. <laughs> Whatever this is, Leo, it's about stuff. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> come back. Like, what's this? Right? <laughs> come back. <laughs> um, this is an ongoing, this has been a long standing issue. Okay. Um, with this person who you're just like, I, 
I can't get through to them. I can't get through to them. I'm just going to shut the fuck up. Oh, come back. I'm just going to shut the fuck up because clearly my words, just my, my words, my speech, everything I'm saying is just falling on deaf ears anyway. It's with someone that is a soulmate of yours, someone you have a long history with. <clears throat> Someone you have a long history with, which is why you're just going into silent mode and it's making them realize, damn it, I'm fucking up. I'm losing the Leo. But again, Leo, I have this energy where it's like you haven't made the physical steps to walk away yet, but you have already decided you're done. They hear you. <laughs> they hear you in your silence. Yeah, and this energy of needing to transform yourself. And again, that's si again, silent mode that's coming off different. Be mindful of that about opportunities you've missed trying to do some self-exploration why do i keep messing up or why did why do i keep missing out on this why isn't this happening for me is it something about me let me explore myself some of you're going all the way back to your childhood in that process okay so if you're going back to your childhood in that process realizing it's something that um, is rooted in some childhood wounding that you need to take care of <clears throat> excuse me yeah yeah all right let's get into this a little bit more Let's look at the Page of Swords in reverse. I'm going to use Gilded Tarot to clarify. Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse for Leo. Regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse for Leo. <clears throat> Regarding love from now until August 14th. For those dealing with someone who has really petty like ways, really petty ways, you're realizing they're the reason you don't have stability between each other. You're realizing that you're realizing you'll, that you'll never have that um, that peace and stability with them. Something about peace. Oh, they they raise your anxiety, Leo. They raise your anxiety when they do that. <clears throat> Play with the page of swords in reverse. Leo regarding love from now to August 14th. Play about Page of Swords in reverse for Leo regarding love from now until August 14th. Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy, moving the wheel forward. Like I said, this silent mode is working for you. It's working for you. Just be mindful of how you're coming across to people that you really love and care about for those where it's coming across like you're pissed or you're mad or, you know, they just can't tell that you're actually going through something, Leo. You might just want to say a little something in, in that, in that, sorry, Jesus, thought I saw something. Um, just might want to say something in that regard, okay? Um, and for those where you're giving someone the silent treatment, where you're already deciding you're done with them, Again, damn it, I'm losing Leo, I'm losing Leo, I'm losing Leo, but you already decided you're done, you just haven't made the steps yet. It's moving the wheel forward for you. Moving the wheel forward for you. Leo, you're out the door. I just wonder why you're not making the moves yet. That's eluding me for you. I don't know why you're not making the moves yet to actually leave. Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse. You know, if you're married, that could be it. Maybe it's just hard to figure that out and how you want to navigate that. Nine of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Wounded warrior energy. Having to be guarded. Having to fight. Oh. It's been quite a battle, Leo. <laughs> oh, come back. It's like my lighting just changed. It's been quite a battle, Leo. For those where you're giving someone the silent treatment, it's been a battle. You're tired of it. You're just fucking tired. But this Wheel of Fortune energy and like this silent treatment is your last stance. It's your last stance. It's your last proving of your point. And they're getting it. They are. Why is it going out of focus like that? They are getting it, Leo. They are getting it. For those of you where it's a transformative process, you've had a lot of challenges that I think people haven't known about. I almost get this energy like taking the brunt, taking the brunt. I'll just keep taking the brunt of this. I'll just keep taking it, taking it, taking it. And you haven't really told your friends. You haven't really been talking to your family about it. Whatever this is. Oh, oh, Leo. Oh, a couple of you, this is a health issue. And, you're, and you've been trying to deal with it. You've been trying to deal with it. And some of you are worried that you're going to keep missing out on opportunities. Whatever this health issue is, it's something that's longstanding as well. It could even be mental health, not just physical. It does feel physical. That's only going to be for a few of you, and it's something you already know about because it's longstanding. So I'm not predicting you getting an illness. 
or anything like that. It's something you already struggle with. And in this silent mode, you're just, you're processing something, but it's like the last stand about it as well. Oh God, where are we going with this? You might've gotten some bad news regarding a, chron a chronic illness that you have or a chronic um, disease that you have, chronic, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like something where it's just, it's like a syndrome, long-standing syndrome that you have. You might have gotten some bad news. If you did, you already have it. You've already received it. You already know about it. Again, I'm not predicting you getting bad news about health. It's something you already know and are already dealing with. This is only for a handful of you. And you're just tired of dealing with it. But that's why you're in silent mode because you're trying to process and deal and cope. And the people in your life have no idea. They have no idea. But you will cope. And once you cope, Things can go, things can get better. Things will balance out for you a little bit easier for those in that situation. Tell me more about the Page of Swords in reverse. For Leo, regarding love from now to August 14th. Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse for Leo, regarding love from now until August 14th. Oh. <laughs> Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse for Leo regarding love from now until August 14th. Okay, let's see what we have here. King of Swords, Aquarian energy, could also be Gemini or Libra. And then we have Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Oh my. Leo, Leo, Leo. This silent treatment, for those that are giving someone the cold shoulder and you're, you're basically deciding you're done in a situation, I feel like you're ready to, you realize that you're preparing yourself. In this silent mode, you're preparing yourself. That's why you haven't walked away yet. That's why you haven't walked away, because you know it's going to be a fight. You know it's going to be a fight to leave. They're going to fight you to leave, okay? Not, not physically, not physically. And if, those, if you're in that situation, leave quietly, okay? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But for those where you're giving someone the silent treatment, you're deciding you're done, but you, you're, wait, you're biding your time right now because you're trying to figure out how to go about this battle. You're preparing yourself. You know it's going to be a fight against this King of Swords, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, to break down this foundation. For some of you, this is about leaving a marriage. Some of you, this is about leaving a marriage. Uh, you could live with this person as well. Others, you could have just been with them for a long time. Because Ten of Pentacles, that's like, that's long term. That's long term foundation. What did I say? Long standing issue, right? Long term. You know it's going to be a fight. That's why you haven't walked away yet. You're, you're, you're preparing yourself. You're preparing yourself. And for those where there's this transformative process, mm, I'm getting a father figure with this. Could also be mother figure, but I feel more father, fatherly. You could have had a, a you could have had a single mom, so they had to play both roles. Um, issues with your with your father. Issues with your father that have kept you from your Ten of Pentacles, that have kept you from having ultimate stability in your life, ultimate blessings in your life. Why do I keep missing out on stability? Why do I keep missing out on opportunities? Why, why, why? What is it? It can't just be a coincidence. <laughs> why does that keep happening to me? You go into silent mode. Again, it's coming off like you're pissed. You are a little pissed though. You're a little pissed because you're trying to figure this shit out. But it's coming off illusionary. That's why it's a page of swords in reverse. It's coming off like it's something else. Um, you're really resilient, Leo. The Leos I'm tapped into with this, you're very resilient. You're very resilient. And you know you're going to have to go head to head with some of your issues that you have with your, um, that you developed with your father figure. Or again, it could also be a mother. It's a parental figure. Whatever these issues are, Leo, it's like having to be strong all the time is actually what I'm getting. Having to be strong all the time. Having to be strong all the time. Whether you're a man or a woman, it's almost like not allowing people to help you when you need help having issues asking for help, having to be number one, having to always prove you can do something, having to always prove yourself. Some of you, this is the issue that you're, you're needing to, to deal with. Like, let's say you've always, you know, you, you have a lot of trouble in interviews, right? Let's say you have trouble at work or holding, holding down a job. This energy of always having to be number one, I'm the best, I can do it. Let me show you how strong I am. Let me show you how strong I am. Let me show you how strong I am. That's what's caused you to miss out on a lot of opportunities because everybody, everybody is weak in something and everybody is strong in something. But when you always have to prove yourself like that, it comes off 
how do I say this? I'm trying to think of the best way to say this. It comes off like you don't need anybody. It comes off a little aloof, sometimes even arrogant. And I know you don't mean that, Leo. I know you don't need to do that. But dealing with this is, like I said, it's pushing the wheel forward. Overall energy, we have Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. This is about so, um, sabotage of the past. Sabotage of the past and those giving the silent treatment to this king. Again, like I said, you've already decided you're done. You've already decided. Um, they definitely hurt you a lot in the past. Um... And it's like they've been sabotaging the relationship the whole time. Defiant. I actually just heard defiant. They could always be very defiant with you. And you're just like, all right, that's it. Silent treatment. They know something's up. They know. I feel like you've never tried this tactic with them before, or at least not in this severity before. Um, they realize they're losing you. They realize that. And you're just biding your time until you're ready for the fight. Until you're ready for the fight to pull apart this foundation, pentacle by pentacle by pentacle by pentacle by pentacle by pentacle. I didn't do all the ten, but that's how many pentacles you got. You gotta like rip apart with this person. You're just getting yourself ready, Leo. Wow. All right. Let's look at the six of wands in reverse and the ace of pentacles in reverse. Um, I don't think we're gonna get much more, but I am curious, especially with the um, ace of pentacles in reverse. I do feel a lot of ego energy too. That Leo. This king has a lot of ego, and that in turn has affected you, okay? And for those who have this issue of having to be strong, being number one, all of that, it's overdeveloped your ego. You're realizing that. You're realizing that. Sorry, guys. I ate before this. Okay. All right. Using Steampunk as the clarifying cards. Talking about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. For Leo regarding love <clears throat> from now until august 14th oh did you notice my throat chakra cleared up oh look at that <laughs> by my ace of pentacles in reverse for leo regarding love from now until august 14th talking about ace of pentacles in reverse for leo by the way like i said this king could also be a female they don't have to be a male they can also be a female I feel like some of you guys were asking me that. Gender doesn't matter, guys. Gender doesn't matter. If you have more questions, please watch that. Interpreting tarot readings as a viewer, a lot of your questions will get answered. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. For Leo. Regarding love. Not to mention, because they are a king of swords, they are Aquarius. They are your natural counterparts. Your opposite, right? Leo to Aquarius, Scorpio to Taurus, Aries to Libra, um, your seventh house, your seventh house. So it's definitely someone that um, you consider to be a partner for those who are giving the silent treatment as opposed to going through a transformation. Either way, you're in silent mode. <clears throat> Talking about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Talking about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Leo <clears throat> regarding love. From now until August 14th. Talking about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Peeker. Six of Swords. I like that. I like seeing that. Aquarius energy. Again, missing out on peace, right? I was getting that peace. Missing out on peace. This king is going to miss out on a lot of good things, Leo. Um, but like I said, it's like you already decided that you're done. You already decided. They might be able to sway you, but I don't think so. They might, but I, I really don't think so. Eight of Wands, yeah, see, Eight of Wands in reverse Sagittarian energy. The miscommunication is just, it's, it's too much. It's too much. You need to be heard. A lion needs to be heard. A lion needs to be able to roar and be heard and recepted and accepted for that, right? This person doesn't. This person doesn't. Leo, be careful. I do feel a little bit of a block energy. Like for those who are trying to leave a situation with a king, they might try to keep you from leaving. They might try to keep you from leaving because you're so done. You're so done with this. You're so done with this energy of them always sabotaging things and you want peace for yourself. You want to keep moving forward. They do want peace with you, but they don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to communicate, and if you try to leave, they, I, I do feel strongly that for a lot of them, they're going to try to stop you from leaving, and I don't think in a dangerous way. Um, yeah, I don't think in a dangerous way, 
just in a very much aggravated energy because Leo, you already know it is going to be a bit of a fight. You already know they're going to put up a battle with you. Okay. Yeah. And for those where this is an issue you're working on of like, why am I missing on these opportunities? Why does this keep happening to me? It's like you want every time you try to move forward, you get hit back. Every t it, like that's how some of you feel I took five steps forward to get hit three steps back what the hell is that about right but it's about your communication Leo for those in that situation I'm not trying to throw shade I'm just the messenger it's about your communication having to be the strongest one having to be number one is not all it's cracked up to be okay people also would respect you more if you have more humility yeah if you have more humility and also guys something else to just take away when it comes to just human beings and human behavior people who ask for help like if you approach someone like for example if i were to approach any of you and ask for your help you would have a, a much more receptive energy with me in the way of kind of looking at me as an equal like oh wow like they want to come to me for help they're reaching out to me they must respect me they must think of me highly people automatically have more respect for people who ask for help not like incessantly not like help me type out this word not like you know what i mean it's like not incessantly asking for help but it does initiate mutual respect between two people if you're always like i can do it i can do it i can do it people think you want nothing to do with them people think that you look at them like they're inferior okay Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Again, Leo, this could all be vice versa. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Leo. And we're not perfect. We're always growing, right? Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Leo regarding love from now until August 14th. Okay. Wow. King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. And that Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy here. This is definitely that King of Swords. It's this King of Swords energy. Um, Leo's, for those going through that transformative process in your silent mode, again, dealing with issues with a parental figure, going back to childhood. Could also be with a boss, but I feel like it's more parental and definitely more fatherly. Um, this is the energy that you had to deal with growing up. This, this is that energy. This is that energy. I'm getting brutish. Brooding, 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 and also taking time bomb. I think you were dealing with someone. Hmm. They were always like muttering. It's like not like in a crazy way, but like if some if they weren't happy with something, if they were disproving of something. There we go. Thank you. If they were disproving of you or disproving of something, if they didn't lash out at you and just scream it at you or just tell it to your face, they just like muttered it under your breath, like very overly critical, very overly critical. Um, but that's because they're insecure themselves. That's because they're insecure and it makes them feel good to do that to people. Yeah, that it's shitty, especially that's a parent, right? That's very shitty, but it just made them feel good. And that's all they really care about is how good can I feel? How good can I feel and how the, the complex is making sense now. And how much power can I exert over people? These two energies together are very controlling energies, especially with the Emperor in reverse. That's someone who likes a lot of power, likes to feel in control because they're insecure. It's a very shadowy Emperor, right? Emperor Upright doesn't need to do that. Emperor Upright is like, it's like the invisible hand. I just manage. I just manage shit. I just take care of shit. This is like, let me show you I'm boss because I'm not sure I am boss. Yeah, it's that kind of energy. Yeah, a lot of you Leos who are, who are resonating with this, this is the energy you grew up with, and this is the energy that forced you to really have to kind of combat that with a similar energy. Like, no, 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 you can criticize me all you want, but I am the best. I am the best. I am good at this. I am superior. I am strong, and I am stronger than you, right? And now that's translated into strong woman, strong man complex. And you're realizing that and it's like shit i need to work on that <laughs> i need to work on that right and again leo's no shade no shade we all have stuff that we have to work through it's good that you're realizing that so that you can work on it right if you didn't work on it that would be shitty right <laughs> um and for those where you're leaving a king of swords that's that kind of energy same energy that you were trying to leave right always having to prove yourself always having to prove yourself and you're tired of that why do i have to explain myself all the time to you you don't even you don't even listen this person doesn't listen this person does not listen they can't listen i almost feel like they're practically incapable of listening leo because if they bother to actually listen it's like 
it destroys their own delusion of how strong they are. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if they actually took the time to hear you and process what you're saying, it means they would have to admit their own shit and this person's not doing that. This person's not doing that, which is why you're done. Which is why you're done. Overall energy, nine of wands. Nine of wands, Sagittarian energy, you're done. You're done with this battle. You're done with this issue. Even if it's just you going through a transformation and you're done with losing out on opportunities because of your own wounding. And again, you're working on that. Um, and for those who are trying to leave a, a person, leave a king of swords behind, you're just tired and you're done and you're not fighting anymore. Last stance. This is my last stance. And in my last stance, I'm not going to try to yell at you. I'm not going to try to talk to you until I'm blue in the face. I'm just not going to say anything. Because what's the point? Yeah, a little intense. I know, a little intense. <laughs> anyway, let's pull some advice from the Spirit Animal deck. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Either way, Leos, this is leading to beautiful transformation. Whatever group you're in, it's leading to beautiful transformation in your life. Because for some of you, again, it's that internal transformation, improving yourself, making yourself better. And again, humility is going to be really big there for you, um, for those who are dealing with that issue. It's very specific, so this is not going to be for everybody. Um, but even those in that situation where you're deciding to leave someone behind, that's going to change your life drastically because it, it does give you anxiety. This person does give you anxiety, and it's just like... I don't need this. All I want in my life is joy and sun and that fun Leo energy. And this person just sucks the, sucks it out of you. Sucks it out of you. Sucks it out of your relationship. You're done with that. Oh. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any? Oh, what did I say about transformation? bat spirit a rebirth is assured with the energy of five change and transformation like i said leo this is beautiful this is a beautiful change that you're making this is a beautiful uh move that you're making if you're leaving this person behind as opposed to combating your issues that were created because of this person through childhood um i know very specific but that's what i'm getting so i'm just the messenger anyway leo it's going to lighten your life is what i'm getting and brighten your life as well brighten your life as well any other advice for my Leos? Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Hold on to that and know that, especially those who are going through an internal transformative process. It's hard to deal with these kind of issues that you know come from childhood. We all do it at some point. Well, not all of us. Um, most of us, especially the community, do it at some point eventually. And they're not easy transformations, but just know that the light is there at the end of the tunnel and it will pay off. It will pay off. Now we have, <laughs> sorry, oh, so funny. Parrot spirit, watch your words. 45 breaking down to a nine and coyote spirit, trust in divine detour, 16 breaking down to a seven. Coyote spirit, I've talked about this a lot, but I have a lot of newbies. Coyote spirits are the tricksters. They're the tricksters. They throw the curveballs in life to get you on the right path. Energy of 16 breaking down to a seven, path, divinely guided, right? And it might seem like the universe is playing a prank on you. It might seem like a terrible moment, but it is what you need to get put on the right path. I'm actually, Leo, don't get mad. It's just a message from my guides. Don't get mad at me. They just said, stop bitching. Sorry. That's what they just, I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. It's got to be for like one of you. Maybe it's for this, this king. It could be for this king. I just heard that. I'm just, the, again, just, just the messenger, just the messenger. Okay. Um, oh, I see you, you. Oh, Leos, for those where this is a person in your life you're trying to leave behind, you're dying to say that. This person, I think, does complain a lot. I just heard high maintenance. They're a little high maintenance, whether they're a male or a female. You're dying to say that, but you're trying to hold on to your silent treatment. <laughs> That's funny. That's hysterical. Um, either way, whatever this curveball is, I do feel like it's prompted by your silent treatment. It's prompted by your silent treatment. The curveball is being thrown in the relationship it's like you're causing the curveball by going into silent mode 
but you already know the end result. The other person is the one getting the major surprise of the curve. Well, for you, it's like, you know you're just causing change in your life to get back on track to where you need to be, to where you need to be. And you're doing it with that silo mode. And once you do that, you throw the curveball in there. And it really, it corrects everything because we have the Wheel of Fortune, right? Moving things forward. It cause, it's a course correction. Thank you. That's the term I'm looking for. Course correction. All right, let's see what other cards we get out here and then we'll wrap it up. Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Leos? Okay, that's it. Oh, I love it. It's best card. Overall, overall advice, Koala Spirit. Spirit has a plan. 35, breaking down to an 8. Success, prosperity, security. I just heard security. Security. Security for yourself is on the way, Leo, because of this decision you're making. This is part of your blueprint. It was supposed to happen this way. Especially when we have Wheel of Fortune out here, too. That's divine timing at play. It was supposed to happen this way. Some of you might be thinking, God, I should have done this sooner. It was supposed to happen this way. So just know that. Just know that. It was supposed to happen this way. For those where this has been an issue your whole life, regardless of your age, whether you're 20 or 60 or 70, you know, if you're at the tail end of that, you're probably like, oh my God, this took so long for me to deal with. It had to happen this way. It had to happen this way for a reason. It formed your life in a certain way, right? Underneath that, we do a badger spirit. Be fearless and bold. The energy of four, so foundations. Found foundations with security, okay? You are going to be just fine, Leo. You're going to be fine. Stay strong in this. Stay strong in your power. That's also the advice here. Be very courageous. Be very courageous when it comes to leaving this person and when it comes to facing your childhood issues for those who are in that group. Some of you might actually have a confrontation with this person for those where you're dealing with your issues, um, going through your own transformation in your silent mode. You might actually physically confront the person responsible, the person that you're dealing your issues with. That was wrong grammar. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, if you're in that boat, be very courageous and don't back down. Don't back down. Speak your truth and don't back down. Okay? All right, Leos. This was a little intense of a reading and it is your birthday season, so I was hoping for something a little more fun and not so heavy. But you know, this is beautiful. Either way, Leo, you're going to be brightening up your life, whether you're just looking within at your own issues that, you know, you suffered at the hands of a parent uh, figure or you're deciding to leave someone for good. Okay? All right, Leos, I love you guys so much. Take care. Have a great week and a great birthday. Have a great night. Namaste.